building in High Street in Columbus. And I'm going to go to have a meeting with Senator Brown. I'm going to find out this birthright citizenship thing, how that, how that old thing works. And so uh, if you just bear in with me, there's going to be some, there are probably going to be some dead moments, some down moments. And I apologize for that. But I'm going to just keep, I'm going to put this in my pocket. And I'm just going to keep it going until I figure out where the heck his office is and go through the preliminaries and then get on, you know, hear from them exactly what's going on. Again, I'm on the sixth floor. I'm going to flip this around now. So just, just bear with me, okay? And I'm going to have that camera in my pocket. Don't be on your phone. Okay, okay. Good. How you doing? Good. I'd like to uh, speak to someone. I, I want a clarification mm -hmm. on um, birthright citizenship. Exactly how that how that works. Yeah. Um, okay. You like you like your job. She's yeah. good. My daughter used to do this. Well, not for a senator, not for a senator. She's state house at one time. My, my name's Dave. I'm Hopsa. Nice to meet you. Hopsa? Yes, Hopsa. Right there. Um, oh. Right here. Hopsa. Right. Thank, yeah. thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'd like to speak to the senator, but I know that's probably yeah, next to Yeah, he's in, not here. Next to but impossible. I'm an immigration caseworker, so okay. I know a little bit about I, so just some issues. Just some clarification. I, um, mm -hmm. I brought with me the copy of the 14th Amendment so, you, so that you can have that so you know what I'm talking about okay. here. Okay. And I just wonder if you could explain to me the way you understand it, or the way the senator understands it, if you're able to speak for him, exactly okay. what is birthright citizenship? Mm -hmm. how, how, does, how does that work? So what exactly is Well, we're down at the bottom. It says all, all persons born or, I might be able to get my glasses, I'll put them in my pocket. Okay. All persons born or naturalized, you know what it says? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All persons born or naturalized in the United States. States. Mm -hmm. And subject to the jurisdiction thereof, yada, yada, yada. Uh -huh. um, nor d denied any person within its jurisdiction the equal protections of mm -hmm. the law. My question is, right. when does birthright citizenship begin? Does it be if a woman were to come across the border mm -hmm. and have a, let's say she comes into El Paso, Texas, mm -hmm. and she has a baby in El Paso, Texas, mm -hmm. is that baby at the moment that it's born? Yes, as a United States citizen. Um, so she would need, it, that baby would have a birth certificate issued by the hospital, um, and that would guarantee. Well, well, okay, let me, let me mm -hmm. stop that a second though. What if, what if at that point, Somebody interdicted before she was able to go to the hospital. Let's say she had the had the child in, a, in an ambulance, or, mm -hmm. and then I come along and I said, "No, no, that's that baby's not a, not born here in the, or not a citizen of the United States." Can I at that point? Can that baby at that point be deported? Does the baby only become a citizen when they give it a birth certificate? What what? This is kind of confusing to me. Birthright citizenship. When does it begin? Um, I'm pretty sure if you're born on United States soil, you're guaranteed your citizenship. So the, yeah. the moment the moment she that that baby is out there, mm -hmm. and so therefore, what's it say? Equal. I'm just reading what it says. Mm -hmm. Any person born or naturalized in the United States, seven subject to jurisdictions thereof, or citizens of the United States in the state wherein they reside, mm -hmm. and no state shall make or enforce any law. Which shall bridge the privileges or immunity of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, mm -hmm. nor deny to any persons within its jurisdiction the equal protections of the law. Mm -hmm. So this applies to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Here's what I don't understand then. If, if this child, according to what you've shared with me, is a born person, mm -hmm. the moment it's born, it has all equal protection of the laws. Mm -hmm. How does a child born alive after an abortion not have birthright citizenship? Because um, didn't Senator Brown just, didn't he just yes. vote against the birth, mm -hmm. born alive infant protection act? Yes. Doesn't that child, the moment it's born, mm -hmm. have birthright citizenship? And if it has yes. all, all equal protections under the law, mm -hmm. how can somebody kill it? 
Well, Senator Brown believes that all health care decisions need to be made between a, a woman and her doctor. So a woman and the doctor have jurisdiction over the babies? The so babies. anything further than that, Senator Brown likes to answer in his own words. So if you have a specific question you'd like to ask him. I would like to ask him. How, how, could I, how could I do that? Yeah, let me get you the form. No, 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 no. How could I... How does a guy like me, just a regular old common old citizen like me, mm -hmm. get an appointment with Senator Brown? You can do that through our website. So I can schedule yeah. schedule one? Yeah, I no. can write down all the information No, for I'm, you. I'm willing. I'm, I want this to happen soon. I'm willing to fly to Washington, D.C. I'd be glad to go there. Well, you should note that in your scheduling request. Okay. Okay. Because I don't know when, you know, I don't know when he's, is he, is he in Columbus regularly? I mean. Sometimes, Sometimes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like maybe they come home on the weekends, but I understand people. Sometimes. Okay. He's in the state, yes. You understand my point, though. My, the point that I'm making is if a child comes across in El Paso and is birthed at El Paso, it's immediately a citizen when it's birthed. But a baby who survives an abortion in Columbus, Ohio, is not a person? The issue I, is more nuanced than that, and Senator Brown would like to answer this question. I would, I would love, to, I'd love to have that one. Yeah, okay, so let cool. me get you some information All on right. how to do that. All right, thank you. You can take a seat. I'll be right back. All right. Nuanced. I don't think it's nuanced. So I'd love, I'd love to hear. That's what I'd like to hear from him. You don't, you don't want this. I don't assume. I mean, no, I don't care. If, if you don't, if you could just go and throw it away, I'll, I'll keep it myself. <clears throat> so Hofstra, I'm, st I'm still, I'm still confused a bit. I'm Senator Brown can answer it for me. I'm sure. That child you said to me is not a child until it gets a birth certificate. You said that the child's not. I thought your question was about immigration. Well, it is. It's a, it's about answer. equal equal protection. So I'm giving you my answer about immigration. So, so an immig so a baby who's, who's an immigrant has different protections than a citizen. No, I thought you were talking about birthright citizenship for somebody who's trying to get. Well, I'm asking you just the nuances of the law. That's what I'm asking you. Right, and so I don't know them, so I, I will get you in touch with. Okay. Them okay. Would it seem to you that uh, a child born in America would have the same rights as a, a foreigner born in America? Well, if a, a, a lady comes across El Paso and has a baby, that baby immediately has rights, you just told me, although the mother's not a citizen. But a woman who's a citizen gives birth to a child in a hospital. That baby doesn't have immediate rights to life, equal protections under the law. I don't think it's nuanced. I think it's, I think it's very clear. And Senator Brown, if I understand, took an oath to uphold the Constitution. The 14th Amendment, if I'm understanding this right, is... Hmm. That is the Constitution, isn't it? 14th Amendment. You've been, you've been, very, you've been kind to me, Hofstra. You've, you've, you've answered what I've asked. And I'd, love to, I'd love to sit down with Senator Brown. And, yeah, I'm giving you the information. All right. Thank you. legislative correspondent who specifically deals with reproductive issues. Okay. And this is our Washington, D.C. office contact information. Except, uh, I'm not trying to be argumentative. I'm not looking for reproductive sure, issues. Sure, but she's the one who would be dealing with that. I'm looking for citizenship issues. She would be dealing with that. I thought you said she was dealing with She also birth. deals with citizenship issues. She does? She does yes. with both? Mm-hmm. And here's my card. You've been very kind to me. I appreciate yeah, absolutely. it. absolutely. Right. We're here to listen to everybody. All right. Thanks. Thank you. There you go. There you go. See, she, she said it very clearly, didn't she? She said that it's a child. It has citizenship at the moment of birth. And when I asked her about a young baby, hmm, she backpedaled quite a bit on that, didn't she? 
Uh, that she said, I only deal with immigration. See, folks, listen. We, and th- then I thought it was interesting that she, she used the phrase that it's nuanced. It's nuanced. What do you mean it's nuanced? And saying it's nuanced is just a nice way of saying, well, the situation just changed. I thought you were talking about Mexicans. Mexicans, they can come in here and they, they have birthright citizenship the moment they're dropped in El Paso. A little baby in a hospital born to a citizen mother and a citizen father, that little baby at the moment of birth laying on the table doesn't have birthright citizenship. That's not nuanced. You may think that's nuanced. Now, now here's my problem. How are you doing? Good, dear, thanks. Here's, here's my problem. Here's my, here's my issue with it. I'm not going to let it lie, okay? I'm not going to let that lie. I don't mean I'm not going to let the lie lie. I'm not going to let that double talk lie. And if you continue to let that double talk lie, it's no reason why we're in the mess that we're in. Folks, I'm going to, I'm going to share with you again what I just shared there. The, 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 you know. Let me dig it. Hi, guys. How you doing? Better than I look. <laughs> they didn't answer. <laughs> I got the 14th Amendment here. Okay? I got the 14th Amendment. And it says, all persons born or naturalized in the United States. And it goes on with a bunch of other gibberish. And then it says, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the law. Do you, do you, folks, do you get that? Do you understand the double, the double speak that they're playing on us? Do you understand that Sherrod Brown is treating immigrants differently than he is treating natural born American citizens. And in the, in the, uh, in the discussion that we had there, you, it was very clear that a child is trying to sneak into the country is a citizen at the moment it pops out of its mommy's birth, a uh, uh, stomach, a <laughs> womb, sorry. But if the mommy doesn't want the baby, then it becomes nuanced. Do me a favor. Share this video, folks. This is wicked. Whether you're pro-life, pro-abortion, whatever your position are, this is absolutely wicked. This double speak that they do in regards to our laws, a set of rules for you and a different set of rules for me, that, that listen, that don't work. That don't work. Uh, I'm going to promise you this. I'm going to be back and visit Sherrod Brown's office soon. God bless you all. Thanks for, thanks for joining me today. Please share this video. This is so important that we understand what they're trying to do. Sherrod Brown took an oath of office to defend the Constitution of the United States. And there's not a different Constitution for illegal immigrants having babies in the United States and women with botched abortion. The baby born, born has rights that cannot be taken away. God bless you. Thanks.